What's going on, everybody? It is January 25th, Thursday. Four-game slate. Um, not super awesome, but good games. Uh, Thunder Wiz is a you know a great game. Um, and obviously Warriors T-Wolves, so long as Jimmy Butler plays, should be a really good game. So at least there's entertaining basketball on tonight. Um, went well yesterday for me. I got I was above the cut line, so this is the uh, the and one single entry. Put up 302, which was good enough. So I was above the cut line and everything I needed. I'll take what I can get. Um, disappointed in Devin Booker. Glad that CJ ended up playing pretty well. Um, I wish that I would have held on to my convictions about Kemba, but it happens. It's fine. 33 and a half isn't going to kill me. Um, ben Simmons, though, just, I mean, he he had like 30 in the first quarter. It was insane. Uh, it's a shame. Couldn't get as much out of Embiid and Andre Drummond. 86.8 fantasy points last night. 30, 24, 6, 4, and 3. Whew. That's brutal. So, to everybody that wanted Drummond in the chat, I told you he was good. And by I told you I was good, or he was good, I mean, I never looked at him and thought he was a terrible play. So, anybody that had Drummond, congratulations. Now let's get into tonight. First up, we've got Heat and Kings. Uh, Heat are 10.5 point favorites at home against the Kings. And by all accounts, we should be seeing uh, Dragic and Tyler Johnson on the floor. So let's think about this one here. I don't want Josh Richardson at that price. Wayne... Mm. I have a feeling this is going to be slow. No, oh, could have been worse. Wayne's a four. Dragic, 7,200 on FanDuel, 7,100 on DK. I don't love that either. Um, Yeah, I'm going to pass there. Tyler Johnson is 5,600 on FanDuel, 5,100 on DK. I'd say he's a DK for... Not a lot to like here. Whiteside. 9,300 FanDuel, 8,400 DK. So he needs... 47... Three games in the 40s, two games in the 50s. Um, I'm not, I'm not married to it, but I'm okay with it. I'm hoping to like uh, Willie Cauley Stein more. James Johnson, you know, I he needs 28. Two games in the 30s, but I, I don't know. I'm probably forcing that, too. Probably missing something here for Miami. It, it might take uh, a little bit of extra digging, but I don't see anything off the surface. The prices aren't exactly the best. We'll move to Sacramento now. Uh, no live show tonight. Four games. Um, it's just easier to take a break. I will go live tomorrow night, and then uh, I'll have a video out Saturday morning, but we're going out of town um, Saturday to Sunday, so there won't be any, there might not be any projections Sunday, um, but I'll tweet everything out just in case, but uh, I don't think that I'm going to be around a computer in time to be able to put anything out. Kings, Kings, Kings. Ooh, it's pricing. Terrible. Kings 95 point implied total is 8th, and it is 8th by a bundle. 
Next closest team is the Knicks, and they're seven and a half points more than that. So Willie Colley Stein on DK looks amazing, 6,500. Um, yeah. He's probably a DK too, to be perfectly honest. That's a great price. <laughs> I don't love him on FanDuel. 7,500 is too much. It's 32. No, that's 37. Um, yep. Monster game in the last one. A couple 40s sprinkled in there, but you need everything to go right in that case. I'm not going to take my chances there. Bogdan, 5,500 on FanDuel, 4,900 on DK. Um... That feels like a DK play. Yeah. Seems like DraftKings is the place to be tonight. Uh, assuming De'Aaron Fox plays, um, I'm not really interested. I don't have any interest in Buddy Healed on FanDuel. I'd, I'd say you can probably entertain him on DraftKings. Barely. And then Scal is fifty six hundred on FanDuel, five thousand on DK. He would need twenty eight. Nope. Yep. Twenty eight on uh, FanDuel. He's hit that in the last two, basically the last three. Um, looks great on DK. I'm going to say he's a FanDuel 4 and a DK 3. And if we hear anything more about, like if we knew that he was starting, I think that I would probably make him a 2. But Kings are being weird. To the Thunder now. I don't know why I said it in that voice. Like a radio DJ. Uh, Thunder 109.5 implied total would be third on the night. Uh, the Nuggets-Knicks game and the Warriors-Timberwolves game didn't really have a line, so. Uh, but Thunder, this one's legit. Five and a half favorites. Five and a half point favorites at home. So, we've got the big four, I guess. And then Roberson on DK. So we've got Paul George, 8,100 on FanDuel. 7,600 on DK. We need 40 out of George. Uh, he's done that in the last two, three of four. Um, I like it. How good of an offensive rebounder is he? Not the best. It's more of an Adams and Russ thing, and Roberson for that matter, so good to know. Um, yeah, Paul George is probably just a three. I'm not... I don't ever really trust him. Russ is 11-9 on FanDuel, 11-4 on DK. So we're looking at 60. How has Russ played against the Wizards in the past? Not great. Um... I assume that he's going to be essential. No, you know what? There's enough point guards out there that he's not. He's a four because I don't necessarily hate the price, but it doesn't look great. Then Mello is 6,600 on FanDuel, 6,100 on DK. You're looking for 33. Uh, he had a stretch of three straight games over it and four of his last seven. I actually think that he's a FanDuel 4 and a DK 3. Seems like DK pricing is a lot more fun tonight. Steven Adams, 7,300 on FanDuel. I don't have a ton of interest there. But uh, DK, 6,600. Again, everything fitting in a little bit better on DK. 
And then same thing for Roberson. Uh, he's 4,600 on uh, FanDuel. To me, not playable. But he's 3,800 on DK, so very playable. <laughs> Go to the Wiz now. Wizards, 104 implied total is sixth. And they have not been playing well lately. If, you, if I sound a little weird, uh, I am a little nasally, a little stuffed up. I haven't been feeling great, so grinding through it. Okay, first thing I actually have uh, any interest in, but not the best defensive matchup. So Beal. Okay. Bradley Beal is 7,600 on FanDuel, 7,200 on DK. How has he been against Oklahoma City in the past? <laughs> not that they're a terribly consistent team from a visual. Yeah, nothing crazy. He needs 38. I don't really like it, but I don't know. He's hit 38 in three of his last seven, two of those being in the mid to high 40s. Um, tough matchup defensively, so it's hard for me to get too excited. I'd much rather have Wall on DK, at least. That price isn't bad for Beal. And John Wall, 9,500 on FanDuel, 8,500 on DK. How has he done in his history against Russ? Because that's a little bit more relevant. Wall been awful in his last three. Um... FanDuel 4 for me is a DK3, and I prefer Wall to Beal. And then the only other thing that I really want to look at is Otto Porter on DK, but FanDuel 6,500 is 32. Done it once. Um, man, nothing looks good tonight. It's uh, highly possible that I don't play. But we'll see. The last two games are more interesting. Nuggets hosting the Knicks. Nuggets, in, in my world, uh, are eight-point favorites at home with the second-highest implied total. This is a, an assumption that uh, Porzingis is playing. If he isn't playing, obviously that line's going to move. <laughs> So we've got Gary Harris, 7,200 on FanDuel, 6,300 on DK. Uh, I'm not super interested in that. Um, he would need 36. He's been right there in three of the last four. How is he as an offensive rebounder? Nothing special. I'm not really worried about that one too much. Next up is Jamal Murray. Murray is 7,500 on FanDuel. I can only assume that his price is up a bundle. Yeah. Up, uh, up from 6,200 uh, two games ago. So he has been playing... Exceptional, 52 and 47 in his last two games. Um, I don't really have a ton of interest in him at that price. You can make a case that um, Gary Harris is worth it on DK. I don't, and Jamal Murray for that matter. Nikola Jokic is 9,700 on FanDuel. He's 8,900 on DK. So we basically need 50 from Jokic. Uh, he's done that twice in his last eight. But he's been shy of that lately. I don't really love that. The only guy I want to look at here is Barton. Uh, Will Barton is 6,500 on FanDuel. 5,800 on DK. So he would need 32 
Um, hasn't done it in the last two, but did it in the two previous. I think this is a better matchup for him. Not Willie Barton, but I'm going to start calling him Willie Barton. Um, he's just a straight three for me. Uh, I don't trust Trey Lyles' minutes right now, but on DraftKings, he's very playable. And then finally, Mason Plumley. If he's going to be getting minutes again, um, you know you have to take a look at him. He's five thousand on Fanduel, forty four hundred on DK. Uh, on Fanduel, he's a three. I actually, I never thought I would say this, but if you're expecting Mason Plumley to play as many minutes as he's been playing, um, he's in a really great spot. Like it's just forty four hundred on DraftKings is too low of a price for someone that's you know can get there pretty easily just from being on the court to the Knicks uh, Knicks 102.5 implied total would be 7th and as I said we are anticipating that Chris Dapps Porzingis plays Okay, Courtney Lee, 5,100 on FanDuel, 4,800 on DK. So you're looking for 25. Uh, he's been there in two of his last three. Nothing amazing. Uh, he's just completely functional. Zinger, 8,700 on FanDuel, 8,300 on DK. He would need 43. Missed his last one. Uh, wasn't there in the previous two, but did have a pretty big stretch of time where he was above value. Um, have to assume that if he's playing, he's a good play. Tim Hardaway Jr., 5,900. Did his price drop on one of these sites? Uh, no, nope. he's up on FanDuel. I think he's down on DK. I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Um, I'm in for Timmy though. If he's going to be getting increased minutes, he uh, he played 35 in the last one. So if that's the end of his minutes limit, I've got him at 34 for the night. It makes him a bit appealing. Um, still just a three, though. Jarrett Jack would need 25. Um, not a ton to get excited about there, but he did have three straight games, 32 or higher, uh, about a week ago. So it's hard to just say no thank you across the board. But Cantor at 6,200. Um, 6,000 on DK. You need 30. He's been in and around that area his past four and basically seven of eight. So feels pretty safe to me. He's probably going to be my center as of right now. We'll see what the next two guys or next two teams look like. Um, starting with the Golden State Warriors. I have the Warriors as 10 point favorites at home against the Timberwolves. Um, and I'm anticipating that everybody plays. So everybody in for the Warriors and Jimmy Butler in for uh, the Wolves. So Clay is up first, 6,600 on FanDuel, 6,300 on DK. You need 33. Uh, two stinkers. 45 in the previous goes all over the place really um, let's see I'm okay with it but he's not my favorite warrior tonight Draymond 8100 and 7500 he's my favorite warrior probably needs 40 I mean he's done it 
four times in the past two weeks, plus a third, plus two thirty-two point games. So like he's in that area. Definitely like Draymond. And then same sort of weirdness in salary with Durant and Curry. Durant ten five on Fanduel, Curry ninety nine hundred. Uh, then you can flip that on DK. Durant ninety nine hundred, Curry ten four. So let's see if you're looking at them both. Durant has not been above fifty. He's only been above fifty. I don't know. It's twice. I don't know what I'm saying. Looking at the wrong lines. I'm going to say that Kevin Durant is a FanDuel 3 and a DK 2. I really like Durant tonight. And I'm going to say that Steph is just a straight 3. I don't like him as much. Just hasn't been there, you know, needs 50. Um, well, that's probably the perfect reason for him to go off. We'll see how everything looks on the uh, optimization. Then finally, last team of the night, Minnesota Timberwolves. Again, assuming Jimmy Butler plays, if he doesn't, I don't know, it's probably another Be Jelly night. B. Jelly is Nemanja Bielica, for those that don't know who B. Jelly is, but he's got a funny name. Um, no one would ever say Bielica correctly if they saw it, except for people from his native land, which would be... I have no idea. Where's he from? Serbia. Okay. Shout out Zach Lowe. Alright, so the only way they're going to be able to make their bones is... Offensive rebounding, so that's Wiggins, Butler, Towns. Okay, so like just the only guys that play. Good to know. Um, Butler is nine thousand on Fanduel, eighty-eight hundred on DK. Look, if he's on the court, I want a part of Jimmy Butler. He's a two for me, but you have to assume that he's got to be out there. If he's not out there, doesn't matter. Wiggins, 6,500 on FanDuel, 7,000 on DK. I uh, can't imagine ending up with him now that these guys are back, but price isn't totally awful. Taj is 5,600, which means you need 28. Um, he's pretty regularly there. He's just, uh, just steady. Towns, 9,000. You're looking for 45. Um, he's done it. Let's change the filter. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Not that it matters. Towns has hit 45 in two of his last eight. He's been mostly in the high 30s. Um, what's his history against Golden State? Never anything exceptional. Uh, I'm fine with it, but I don't think he's going to end up being my center. I think it'll end up being Cantor, probably. Then Jeff Teague is 6,000 on FanDuel, 6,400 on DK. He needs 30. Um, you know, he's done it. He's had a 37, a 39, a 41, but he's also had a 13, a 21, a 22. So, very boom bust. If you think the boom is today, grab hold. That's the list. Not a ton to like. Um, I don't even really have a good feel for how these guys are going to pop out. There's no real, like all of the value seems pretty in line with salary. So I don't think that anybody is just going to stand out like crazy when I do this. Maybe the only person is going to be... A lot of Bradley Beal could be the the way this leans. I don't know. I don't... This is going to be really balanced when I do this. At least on FanDuel. Up to 
10, and go. Okay. Lots of Tim Hardaway Jr. A lot of Teague, a lot of, a lot of Minnesota. Beal is there at 48. Well, that Tim Hardaway Jr. one makes sense if I would have looked at that a little harder. So if we did Hardaway Jr. Beal. Cantor. They want me to take Jarrett Jack. Ooh. I don't know about this. So Jimmy Butler is the only guy that I would definitely want. So if we grab Butler, I would want to grab, whew, man, this is tricky. Everything just looks so similar. Ooh, what do we got here? I'd entertain something like that. Russ, Teague, Hardaway, Ellington, Butler, Iguodala, Anthony, Gibson, Cantor. Oh, FanDuel is very difficult tonight. Then we head to DraftKings, where I think it's going to look a little bit tastier. Just a guess. Bump that up and go. Interesting. Let's get that filter off. So Durant, Butler, Willie Colley Stein, and Mason Plumley were my twos. So there's Mason Plumley. There's Jimmy Butler. It does leave a Willie Colley Stein, so I can get three of the four. <laughs> Jack Butler, Roberson, Plumley, Whiteside, Barton Green, Stein, or Tyler Johnson, Beal, Barton Plumley, Stein, Butler, O'Quinn, and Porzingis. I don't mind that first one, but man, oh man, is it not entertaining. 245, what's the high? 250. That's a tricky one, guys. I don't I don't particularly love this slate from like a, an upside perspective. I do want to watch a little bit of that Thunder Wizards game, but other than that, that's all I've got. Um, like I said, no live show tonight. We'll be back in the morning with this video and live again for Friday night. Then I'll be able to have content Saturday morning. Uh, I won't have any updates throughout the day. Um, we're going to be heading to Durham uh, Saturday morning. So once you see this video Saturday morning and the projections, that will be the last of me most likely until uh, Monday morning. But thanks to everybody for tuning in. Um, thanks to everybody that joined in to the live stream last night we went over 500 people for the first time which is awesome next goal is 600 so keep it climbing um like subscribe twitter reddit patreon you guys know the drill at this point um i'll talk to you again tomorrow morning